Today we'll create a splash room. So when the game is loaded, the first screen that you see is the splash screen. So let's create a splash screen first. So in your game, in your resource tree, click on the plus sign so that you could see the rooms that you have. So far I have one room. I'm going to create another room. Right click, create room. And I'm going to call this as RM for room. And I'm going to call it as splash screen. And let's begin. In my splash screen, usually I would have the name of the game and I would have a couple of buttons to start the game and to look at the instructions. So first let's finish creating your splash screen. So the name of my game is catch ball. So I'm going to go to objects. I'm going to use my wall to create the name and I'm going to draw C here and then A then T again C and then H Now I'm going to write ball A So now that I wrote the title I am going to click on the green check here now what I need in here is I want to add my yellow ball in my title here somewhere. I already have sprites for it yellow ball but one thing keep in mind my yellow sprite ball has some actions to it so if I place this yellow sprite ball object in my splash screen it will keep bouncing and we don't want that. So I'm going to make a duplicate copy of sprite yellow ball. I'm going to right click on the sprite and select duplicate and I'm going to give it a name SPR static. I'm going to say it as static because this is not moving and I am going to click OK. Now I'm going to go to objects, right click on it and create object. Now I'm going to call this as OBJ static yellow ball and I'm going to select the sprite now I'm going to select my SPR static yellow ball sprite and then check solid and then press OK now I would go to objects and click on this gray area and I will see my three objects in there I would select object static yellow ball and then I will click on different places to make it look interesting. Uh, I think I should remove this. So now that I have my splash screen with the title of the game, I'm ready to add two buttons in here, start button and instructions button. But before we add these buttons here, we have to create the sprite for start and we have to create the sprite for instructions. So right now I'm going to click on this green check 